Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You may be seated. It is a great day for the Lord. Something good is going to happen to you. Hallelujah. About 15 years ago, I visited Australia to attend Asia Pacific Theological Meeting at, at the Southern Cross College Bible College in Sydney. About 100 leaders from all Asian countries attended the meeting. At the dinner table, uh, I had a conversation with a leader from Indonesia. Uh, he said that he was very embarrassed at the airport. It was his first trip to Australia. At the immigration, the officer asked him, where are you going to die? What? Where are you going to die? He has a strong Australian accent. So he said, no, I'm not going to die. I'll attend the conference. Okay, okay, where are you going to die? <laughs> Finally, he understood the question. To die means today. <laughs> <laughs> Next day, he said to me, Australians are very spiritual. Uh, I said, why? He said that in the morning, I met many Australians. All of them said, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> it looked like the confession of Apostle Paul. He said, 1 Corinthians 15, 31, I die every day. <laughs> Galatians 2.20, he said, I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. This is the secret of the church cross. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must die before the Lord for the revival. You must die every day, every moment, for the glory of God. Nobody says amen. <laughs> we must be humble before the Lord. Today I'm talking about the church growth. The church growth is the sovereign will of God. It's not work of man. You must remember. Acts 2.47 says, The Lord ate to them their number daily those who were being saved. The, the Lord, the Lord ate to their numbers daily those who were being saved. So, Church growth is the ministry of God, not the ministry of man. It's God's sovereign will. So we must be humble before the Lord. We must be kneel down before the Lord. When we pray, God will answer our prayer. When we pray, God is working for us. But if we do not pray, when we are working, just God is watching for our ministry. But if we are kneel down before the Lord and pray very hard, when we pray, God will move. So you must be humble and you must pray very hard. 
the Lord. As long as we are humble before him, he will keep using us for his glory. Hallelujah. Today I want to share the, the three important principles of church growth. First one is the ministry of the word of God. Second one is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The third one is ministry of prayer life. Number one, the, the word of God is the key to the revival. Acts 2.42 says, Acts 2.42, they devoted themselves to the opposite teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. The, the church grows largely depends on the pastor's powerful message. We must remember that the word of God is the core of church growth. We must preach the message of hope with the basis on the cross of Jesus Christ. Please do not preach a philosophy or religion. The gospel of Jesus Christ is not a religion or philosophy. It is a life. Is the way, is the truth. Hallelujah. Uh, when I was studying at Temple University in Philadelphia, I uh, visited uh, the oldest church in Philadelphia. This church has more than 150 years of history. This church has 1,500 seats. So, a friend of mine invited me to join the service on Sundays. So I visited the church. But he got me to the, the, the basement, not to the main sanctuary. So I followed him and I entered the small classroom, but uh, it was the uh, main chapel for the service. About 70 people gathered together. The service at 11, uh, it finished by 10 to 12. Whole service took 50 minutes. It includes Prayer time, preaching time, offering time. Everything is included within 15 minutes. I heard the message from the pastor of the church. He said that I'm an interim pastor, so uh, I just take care of the uh, temporary. He spoke about 20 minutes, but during his sermon, he never spoke about the Jesus Christ or the cross of Jesus Christ or blood of Jesus Christ. He just spoke something about it, nothing to remember. But after service, uh, all church members go to the uh, main sanctuary. They removed all the chairs. Instead of all chairs, they put the banquet table. There are lots of food on the table. Then we ha had a fellowship for two hours. Many churches are interested in uh, fellowship after service, but the center of the worship is the word of God. 
word of God is the authority of the church. We must follow the guideline of the word of God. We must listen and obey the word of God. Word of God is life. Word of God, word of God has everything for our ministry. I met um, underground, underground church leaders of China in Hong Kong a couple of years ago. I had a good time with them and I gave them a lecture. Um, interestingly, they, uh, they were all woman leaders, about, about uh, 20 people. And I heard that 70% of the underground church leaders are women in China. Hallelujah! 50% of the three serve church, government recognized church leaders are women. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ages are between 30 to 40. Someone said to me, they pioneered 238 churches in urban area. Amazingly, um, membership uh, were between 200 to 1,000. But they didn't attend the seminary. They didn't receive any theological education. But they, are, they were ministering very successfully. I asked them, what kind of theological education do you have? There are 22 seminaries, 22 seminaries in China, but there are 100 million Christians in China. Hallelujah. 1949, only 4.5 million Christians. After severe persecution, members grew to 100 million. Hallelujah. <laughs> without any theological education, without any theological training, without any theological school in China, how come it happened? So, what kind of theological education do you have? They said that we don't have any theological education, but we just read the Bible more than 10 times. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> That's the education for them. But the Word of God totally changed their lives. The Word of God changed whole China. They said, we just read the Bible and believe in the Word of God and preach the gospel with faith. Then miracles were followed. The Word of God is alive still today. Hallelujah! <laughs> Believe in the Word of God. Preach the Word of God with faith. God will minister the audience. God will perform many miracles with His Word. Preach the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Preach the cross of Jesus Christ. Main theme of the Bible is the cross of Jesus Christ. We must preach the power of cross of Jesus Christ every Sunday. 
in every sermon. Many people do not talk about the, the cross of the Jesus Christ and the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. But we must stick to the authentic message of the apostle teaching. <clears throat> Crucifixion of Jesus Christ is the main theme of this apostle teaching. They always preach Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection. That's the whole message. So we must stick to the Bible. When he preached the gospel without the word of God, something great is going to happen to you and your ministry. Hallelujah. Number two, the work of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 1, verse 4 and 5, Jesus said to his disciples, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my Father promised, which you have heard me speak about. What John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. This is Jesus' last comment for his disciple. You must wait for the gift of God promised. That's the baptism in the Holy Spirit. We must wait for the fullness of the Holy Spirit. We must pray for the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Jesus gave this comment to the Disciples, do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised. John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Everybody knows verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the earth. So, we must, we must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We must receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. The growth of Yodhafurga Church is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is one who brings growth to churches. Without the fullness of the Holy Spirit, we cannot expect any church growth. I started attend Yodo Fulgas Church about uh, 50 years ago. Uh, I raised in um, Presbyterian family in first generation. My grand grandfather received Jesus Christ as a personal savior about, uh, from the first missionary to Korea about 120 years ago. Hallelujah. <laughs> Every day and night uh, we have the um, world service in, uh, with the whole family. But I never heard about the Holy Spirit until I attended Full Gospel Church. It's about 50 years ago. Dr. Yungi Cho always talks about you must receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. You must be baptized by the Holy Spirit. You must speak in other tongues. So In, in the service, in the Sunday school teacher teaching, uh, always talks about the, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So uh, I knew that uh, I must re receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit to su survive in the church. 
So I pray for the baptism of the Holy Spirit for one and almost two years, one year and ten months. Finally, I received the fullness of the Holy Spirit. I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I speak another tongue. Since then, my life have been changed totally. Uh, when I pray, the, by the grace of the, the, the Holy Spirit, I always remember the cross of Jesus Christ. Uh, I knew Jesus Christ in my knowledge before the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But after receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ is alive in my heart. He was walking into my heart. Hallelujah! <laughs> Jesus became um, uh, my everything. He's my everything. So I always pray and pray I remember the cross of Jesus Christ I remember the prayer of Gethsemane I pray with tears so the Holy Spirit always touch my heart always uh, take care of all my uh, problems, difficulties. When you pray, God will answer your prayer. When you pray, the Holy Spirit is going to take care of you. Do not worry anything. Just pray. Just pray to the Lord. Then the Holy Spirit comes on us and take care of the all the difficulties, all the problems. Since then, I really enjoy to serve the Lord. I'm very happy because the Holy Spirit is always with me. Holy Spirit inside of my heart always brings the, the yes, joy and peace in, into my heart. Hallelujah! So I found out that uh, the fullness of the Holy Spirit is the fullness of Jesus Christ. If you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you will be a real Jesus. You will imitate the life of Jesus Christ. You will imitate the Jesus Christ itself. Because the Holy Spirit always testify Jesus only. Holy Spirit always teaches us with His teaching. So, if we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we must imitate Jesus Christ. We must preach the message of Jesus Christ to people. That's the first of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Many people are focusing on the manifestation. So, manifestation is only a gift. The core of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is fruits of Jesus Christ. Do not focus in, oh, on the uh, miracles only. Just we have to focus on the author of our faith, Jesus Christ. Jesus' name will be glorified. Hallelujah! So I really uh, learned and inherited from Dr. Cho about the Ministry of the Holy Spirit. Um, while I was in the United States, I uh, started my ministry with 60 members. Uh, 
former pastor left uh, without uh, the, the, the having the successor. Just uh, he left because of some conflict between the church member and pastor. So they invite me as an interim pastor. So uh, I had to take care of that uh, congregation. At the first time at the Friday night prayer meeting, only three uh, members attended. So I never worry about the numbers because I raised in Yodo f u g a s Church. I attended the Yodo f u g a s Church at the first time at that time, 1964, about 2,000 members. But I attend this service every Sunday. The membership was growing and growing, grew and grew and grew. 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000. Then 1973, the church moved to Yoido, current area, with 10,000 seats. First time I worry about how can we fill this big auditorium. But God is almighty. In God, nothing is impossible. So, God sent many, many people every Sunday. So, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, 200,000, 300,000. Church still grows by the grace of God. Hallelujah! So um, I tried to reach the church membership uh, about um, 300. Uh, in two years, the membership grew to 200. But almost a year passed, I could not achieve the uh, 300. There are 450 churches in the United States. And a church with more than 300 membership belongs to the top 1%. 99 points are under the almost of them the, under the 300. So I pray for the 300 people for the church. Uh, we count the number every Sunday that people range from 230 to 260. On one Thanksgiving Sunday, quite Many people came. I was excited. I, during the service, I count the number again and again and again. <laughs> It was only 298. <laughs> only too short. So, I thought next week we reached more than 300 because three of our regular families were out of town visiting <laughs> their, their relatives for the holidays. Next Sunday, um, I was even more disappointed because uh, there are only 268. <laughs> so, I began to pray to the Lord. I, I began to cry out to the Lord. Why can't I achieve 300? I struggle with God every early in the morning at the church. Um, it was a Friday morning. It was a very cold morning. Morning, I uh, praying. I was praying in the church. I heard the voice of God. It was a question. If the Israelites had tried to catch the quail in the wilderness, how many quails could they have caught? It remembers me the uh, story of Numbers 
chapter 11. We know that. All Israelites complain about the food. They wanted the meat. They came to Moses. Moses, we want meat. We want to eat meat. Give us meat. I, I remember the, the, one of the famous um, advertisements, TV advertisements in the U.S. Where is the beef? You know, do, do you remember, anybody remember that? Where is the beef? The hamburger company, they complain about the small size of the uh, beef with us inside the bun. So, Moses prayed to God. It's almost impossible. There are more than two million people in the desert. How can they have the meat for everybody? But God promised that he would give them meat. And they would eat it for a whole month. The miracle took place in the following day. A wind went out from the Lord and drove chaos on from the sea. Hallelujah! It brought them down all on the camp to about three feet above the ground as far as a day work in any direction. The people gathered the quail and ate them for a whole month. If the Israelites had tried to catch quails, how many quails could they have caught? It is impossible for them to feed everybody. But in God, Nothing is impossible. Hallelujah. It hit me and I came to realize that the church cross was exactly the same. I fell on my knees before God and cried. I began to repent. I was trying to reach it. Achieve the church growth on my own, on my effort. I surrendered to the Lord. My Lord, it is your work, it's not my work. Oh God, forgive me. I cannot do anything. It is your work, and you, only you can do it. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit blow. And I totally commit myself to the Lord and pray and pray and pray. Before that, the, for the preparation of the sermon, I read many books. But after that, Experience. I closed all the books. I just opened the Bible and read and read and read. <laughs> Next Sunday, something was going on. Many people were crying during the sermon. The Holy Spirit moves around us. Membership became grew to 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. Hallelujah! When I came back to Korea, opened Dr. Joe's request, the church had the membership of 1,200. It increased 20 times within 70, seven years, from 60 to 1,200. By the work of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is none other than the work of the Holy Spirit. 
to evangelize Melbourne and Australia or on the world. We need the wind of the Holy Spirit. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit blow. Hallelujah. Number three, the importance of prayer. Acts 2 42 says, They devoted themselves to the upper teaching and the fellowship and the breaking of bread and to prayer. The prayer is the key to the revival. We need fervent prayer for the revival. One thing we should remember as a cause of the explosive growth of the Fulgas Church is prayer. The amount of the work of the Spirit is proportional to the amount of our prayer. With the Word of God, and we pray, the Holy Spirit moves around the church, around us. We see it clearly in the early church in Acts, when the disciples gathered in Jerusalem, devoted themselves to prayer. The Holy Spirit descended on them, and they became the witness of the gospel. If one want to, have, want to uh, be, uh, uh, become a powerful witness, you must pray to receive the power of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes on you, you will receive the power. You will be my witness in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and to the earth. So, before you start your ministry, you must pray first. Before you start worship service, you must pray. People start any business, any work, you must pray. Jesus, he is the son of God, but he, before he started his public ministry, he fasted and prayed for 40 days. Jesus himself dedicated his life to prayer. We are greater than Jesus. We must pray. Many people know, the, many Christian leaders know the importance of prayer. But they do not pray. Prayer is a labor. You must put your all effort in prayer life. You must keep precious time for the Lord in prayer. We are so busy for his work. Someone said, we are too busy for that. We don't have enough time for the prayer. It's very ironical situation. If you want to have a successful ministry, you want, must pray very hard. I'm very busy for his work. But without prayer, everything is uh, in vain. You must pray. Pray and pray, pray before the Lord. Then God will answer our prayer. Pastoring in, in Korea is very uh, difficult compared with other countries because we have already a prayer meeting at 5 a.m. We have 50,000 churches in South Korea. Um, North Korea, only two churches, government-oriented churches, two churches in Pyongyang. If there are some visitors, they open the door for visitors. If nobody is, is there, they close the door. That's the situation in North Korea. 
in South Korea, there are 50,000 churches, 100,000 ministers, 1,212 uh, million Christians, Protestant Christians, 5 million Catholics. Hallelujah. One third of the population are Christians. Hallelujah. We have only 130 years of history. Eight, uh, April 5, 1885, two official missionaries from the United States. One Presbyterian, one Methodist church came to, a missionary came to Korea. But within a short period of time, the, the Korean church really blessed by God. We have a strong prayer life tradition in Korean church. 1903 and 1907, we had a great revival. One in Wonsan, one in Pyongyang, all North Korean cities now. Anyway, we start the epic revival with repentance movement. Everybody repent their sins and pray all together, all night, and all day in the morning. Nobody starts all their prayer meeting at the time. But Holy Spirit moved the mind of the congregation. During the two-week revival session at the Pyongyang, Jangdaeon Church, after service, everybody was crying and confessed their sins because the lead of the church confessed his sin public, publicly to the people. Because of that, everybody was shocked and they confessed almost all night. So, pastor dismissed the congregation. You must go to your house, come back tomorrow evening. But they couldn't sleep. So next day, early in the morning, 7 to 80 people in the churchyard, they uh, hang around. So church deacon opened the door for them. So they start all their prayer meeting. <laughs> Since then, we have the all their prayer meeting. Hallelujah. It is very hard, it's very difficult, because I have to wake up 3.30 a.m. every day. I have to rush to the church by 4.30 a.m. But it's very, it is very good for my spiritual life. Without prayer, I cannot serve the church. I see the miracle every Sunday, because too many people come to the church. So I always praise the Lord, my God. I can clearly see the miracle of God. It's a miracle. How come? Too many people come to the church every Sunday. It is very hard to save the people, but when you pray, God will touch the, the, the mind of the people. Hallelujah. We have uh, Three early day morning session, five, six, seven. And every day, all night prayer meeting, 10 to 4 a.m. Two months ago, uh, we had um, seven hour prayer rally at the church 
Friday night, 9 to 4 a.m. I announced the uh, seminar prayer rally to the congregation at that night. Church main sanctuary packed and jammed by the people. Many youth came to the church to pray. Even the the pulpit that they are sitting on the pulpit. So we prayed for seven hours. They said it was great, great. Uh, Spiritual blessing time for us. So this month we are going to have again for whole seven hour prayer meeting with all the congregation. So you must pray very hard for your ministry, for your family, for your people. Without prayer, we cannot expect any miracles. About three months ago, uh, I got a phone call from my church member. Please come to the hospital. The elder's granddaughter is going to die. And a nurse at the hospital sent me an email. Doctor said she'll die soon, but I have faith in God. If you come to the hospital, if you pray for her, she'll arrive. She has strong positive faith. She got a cold and the virus penetrated the heart. Heart function was that only 20% of the heart was functioning. And only her brain is normal condition. Physically almost dead because her heart wasn't working. Almost died. Her only brain is properly working at the time. So doctor said uh, it is impossible to cure the child. Uh, she would die within a day. So I rushed to the hospital. Uh, she was in the intensive care unit. She was unconscious with many hoses in her body. Uh, I prayed and mother and father prayed and grandfather prayed. And after finishing my prayer, came out from the, the ICU, intensive care unit, her mother said, thank God, God already touched my daughter, she's alive. Hallelujah. She had a positive face, she had a first mouth confession. So I came back to my office that night. her heart is start uh, working. So she was completely healed. Hallelujah. <laughs> Only prayer by faith. The miracle will happen. If you have any problems, any disease, you must pray for them with face.
with a passive face, then God will take care of all the diseases and sickness. When you pray, God will perform many miracles. When you pray, God will minister our ministry. When you pray, God will cast out all the devil's power in the church. Hallelujah. Yesterday, I had a big meeting in Paris, pastor's meeting in Paris, about 800 pastors gathered together. One of the pastors said to me, after my lecture, we found out the problem of French churches. He said that there were too many meetings. Each meeting has at least four, to four hour session. Discuss and discuss and discuss. Many, many discussions during the meeting. But meeting kills the church. You must pray instead of meeting. Too many business meetings in the church. We have board meeting regularly, only 15 to 20 minutes. That's it. Rest of the time we pray. Hallelujah. One pastor said to me, we never pray. We just three to four hour discussion, then dismiss. No conclusion, no answer. Shall we discuss next time? Yes, then dismiss. Then they have meeting again and again and again. Do not spend a lot of time in the business meeting. Business meeting never can get the church growth. Prayer meeting will get the tremendous church growth. Hallelujah. <laughs> Too many discussions in the church. Too many conversations in the church. We have to talk to God, not talk to man. We cannot solve all the problems. With discussion, we cannot solve all the problems. We must kneel down before the Lord and pray. What's the first big problem in Jerusalem church? Everybody knows that the widows of Christian Jews complain about it. Then how they solve that problem? Ex Chapter 6, verse 4, this apostle said, And we'll keep our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. We must keep all our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. Hallelujah. That's the answer. We got the old answer from the Bible. Do not ignore the uh, message of the Bible. We must attention to prayer. Prayer life is the center of our ministry. Spend a lot of time in prayer. Do not spend a lot of time in business meeting. So prayer life is one of the most important parts in our lives. We do not need any techniques when you pray. What is important is to have truthfulness before God and to cling to God persistently and patiently. Pray and pray and pray. Finally, you will get the answer. Men of prayer, Daniel, pray for 21 days. For the answer. You must pray very hard. 
until you get the answer from the Lord. Pray regularly. Put the prayer time in your priority in your ministry. Godly Christians dedicate their lives for prayer. All officers dedicate their life to pray. So pray without ceasing. Pray and pray and pray until you get the answer from the Lord. When you pray, God will change your life and your church and Melbourne and Australia. God will give us the trends of blessing and revival in Australia. Hallelujah. Shall we stand? Shall we stand all together? Um, I want to end my lecture with a prayer. Um, Everybody knows the Gangnam style, yeah? Gangnam style. <laughs> But I'm going to teach you the style of prayer. Always if we uh, have prayer time, we shout Lord three times. So shout Lord three times and pray all together. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, God bless us. Three. Two, one. Lord, Lord, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Our Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for your love. Your blessing upon us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Your name will be glorified. Your name will be glorified. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Give us the Bible. Give us the Bible. Oh, hallelujah. Give us spiritual blessing. Hallelujah. 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 We want to follow you. We want, hallelujah, to dedicate our life to you. We want to serve you with all our heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have Father, forgive us. We do not have enough time for prayer. Hallelujah, our Holy Father. Give us the strength to have pray for the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Give us revival in Australia. Oh, you just said, m a t i c u l t u r kingdom for the, for, the, for the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Our Holy Father, we want to give all the glory to you. Oh, our Father, hallelujah, prayer of the Lord. Forgive us, forgive us, forgive us. Have mercy on us, have mercy on us, have mercy on us. Oh, our Father, have mercy on us. Oh, hallelujah, make us a humble servant for the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 our Heavenly Father. We want to worship you, adore you. Oh, our Heavenly Father, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glorify your name, glorify your name. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give us power of prayer. Give us power of the Holy Spirit. Give us power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, our Father, thank you for your blessing and blessing. Thank you for the salvation. Thank you for the revival. Our Father, give all the glory to you. Our day, our life to you. Oh, our Father. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, ya la bara ka shanda la bara bara ya la bara. Oh, ya la bara bara shanda la ya la bara ka bara ya la bara. Give us revival, revival, revival. Oh, are you ready to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Receive the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, our Father, glorify your name. Oh, we adore you. We love you. We want to serve you with all our heart. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 
Alléluia, la voix de 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 la Alléluia, 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 Your name will be glorified. Your name will be glorified. Your name will be glorified. Alléluia, 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 Alléluia. Oh, I want Father. Alléluia, we want this song to be the whole heart. We want to dedicate our life to you. We want to serve you. Make us a humble servant. Make us a great sister world. Make us matter to you. King for the kingdom. Oh, Alléluia, la 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 Your name will be glorified. Your name will be glorified. Oh, Yarabara Kashadaranda Yarabara Oh, Yarabara Kashadaranda 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 Father, thank you for the spiritual blessing upon us. Thank you for everything. Make us great men of God and women. Make us great men and women of the word of God. Make us great men and women, women, women of the Holy Spirit. Make us great men and women of the prayer. Make us humble servants for the Lord. Make us a great tool for the kingdom of God. Use us, evangelize all Melbourne and Australia in all around the world. Hallelujah. Make us great witnesses witnesses for the Lord we know that when you pray you will answer our prayer give us great revival we need the revival in Melbourne in Australia we are expecting great revival 
in the near future. Use us, lead us, guide us for the glory of God. Hallelujah. We want to give all the glory to you. Pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. a hand. Let's give Jesus a hand. Come on, let's exalt our King and avail ourselves and say, Lord, Lord, it is you and your kingdom that we want to see coming. We just want to thank Dr. Lee again. Let's give him a big hand. What a deposit. And let's continue to build on that. Two verses of scripture that just were so ringing in my heart. One is found in the book of James. The prayer, the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. There's a fervency in prayer that I know God is awakening within our hearts. And the second is Paul writing to the Corinthians and saying, I fear for you. Lest your minds be deceived as with Eve, and you are led astray from the simplicity of devotion to Christ. And I think the enemy uses the busyness of our world and often the busyness of our church programs and church life to lead us astray from the very core essence. of what brings forth his kingdom. And I just found myself repenting. And really coming back to that place, saying, God, it's got to begin with me again. It's got to begin with me. Lord, baptize me afresh. Fill me afresh with your spirit. Give me a heart and a passion for you, your kingdom. And anoint me and grace me with the capacity to pray fervently for the lost in this city and in this nation. And God, pour out your spirit once again. And that's my prayer. Let us not be led astray. Let us come back. So, Father, we thank you for this profound, simple but profound message from your servant, Lord. And, Lord, I hear what the Spirit is saying. Lord, let me not just hear, but let me do. Lord, in these coming days, weeks, and months, the cry of my heart, as I believe the cry of every heart in this place is, Father, begin with me. Begin with me. And let's see your kingdom come. That you, Jesus, might accomplish your will on earth. That you and you alone are exalted and glorified. As the Lord, as the ascended glorious King, and Lord of Melbourne, and the Lord of Australia. That's our cry, Father. Let your Son be glorified and lifted up over this great city and this great nation as we truly fulfill our purpose in you. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Give Jesus a big hand.